Well, welcome back again. Um, yep, it is September, September, oh my gosh. It is November 2nd. Um, it's actually a beautiful sunny day. It's uh, not too cold out. It's about seven degrees Celsius and um, that's what, 45 Fahrenheit, something like that. And uh, we're in Slate River, so that's in Ontario. Um, anyways, uh, beautiful day. So, uh, yeah, quick update. Um, didn't do a lot of work to the boat. Uh, I did bring uh, my original boat from uh, the lake. And uh, it is also an aluminum craft. I mean, I've got all these other ones as well. Um, oh, yeah, and that one, of course, over there. But uh, yeah, you can never not have enough boats, right? Um, but this boat here is uh, my original boat since I was a teenager. Um, I don't know what model it is. I have to uh, contact um, Alumacraft and give them the uh, number that's, uh, that's stamped down here. There's a nice number right here and then that tells me what year it is and what the make, or not the make, the model is. Um, but yeah, so this is when I first got into aluminum craft boats. I think I was like uh, 16, 17 years old. And um, she's, it's been a great boat. Uh, uh, she leaks a little bit and uh, I uh, have to either repair the seat here um you can see it's all cracked i'll hop back inside yeah so she's all cracked here and here and there's also a crack down here um so uh and there's a few little leaks here and there but oh boy i got lots of mileage on this old girl um i thought it was like a 1966 uh aluma craft um but I'm not too sure. I'll I'll find out uh, here probably in the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, yeah, they're geez, they're, they're just great little boats, you know. Uh, and uh, in the last couple of videos, uh, I was uh, talking, of course, about uh, that Alumacraft, the deep sea. Um, now also was talking about this one here and a couple videos ago i got the name of this boat wrong uh i called it a thorns or something or a thor i think that's what it was i call it a thor and it's a thorns so i think yeah i think it's the thorns anyways still a nice boat it's, i actually like it i don't know if i'm gonna keep it or sell it ah geez i don't know um but it's sure fun working on them. Uh, and it's uh, nice to bring them back to life and clean them up and, you know, that kind of fun stuff. Uh, yeah. Now, this Alumacraft came with this uh, 40 uh, Johnson. Great motor. Um, supposedly it runs. Uh, I'm actually probably not going to use it. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to put it on the thorns uh, or not but anyways uh yeah still a plan for doing the twin motors on um on this Alumacraft and I just quickly put a couple of seats in here um because like I had said before I uh, really want to close in the bow um you know in in this area here and oh yeah take a look I got the steering wheel off. So it actually was really easy. Uh, it's not really corroded. I don't know if you can see in the camera very clearly, but um, it, yeah, it was it was actually pretty easy. I, all I did was put a uh, screwdriver and I just gently put it between these two mating surfaces here to put tension on the shaft. And then I gently tapped on the end here, I put the nut back on and I tapped on the end and it popped right off. 
so uh she's she's playing along and i think uh i think this boat wants me to continue going and um yeah making her pretty and yeah changing a few things so i decided to not move this i'm leaving it alone um i'm gonna close in uh the top turtle that's here uh with just some uh marine grade uh um quarter inch plywood so the plywood will still sit just under the lip here um and i'm gonna this is kind of temporary just kind of seeing how i can mock this all up without doing any major modifications to the gunnel or the the side or anything like that and and it's nice there's holes down here uh for um letting the water out and I'm actually going to bolt this uh, piece or something like it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this yet. But I'm going to bolt this um, to the side gunnel here. <clears throat> and then, uh, so this will be good and solid. And then the plywood will come up and go over top. And then I'm probably going to put in another piece here as well for a stiffener. Like there's a hole here. So I'll utilize that hole. And then I already drilled these holes because there was already existing holes here. So I'm trying to do this without messing with anything. Um, and uh, I think it's gonna work fine. So, but hey, pretty cool, I think. It, the bow is gonna be closed in um, about six and a half feet. It's a 15 foot boat, but uh, yeah, the, um, I think from here forward is about six and a half feet, and then it gives me about a foot and a half uh, from the uh, the dash area, and the and also f my feet will be. Believe it or not, when you're sitting in the seat here, your feet actually rest up on this, and there's a bulkhead under this seat, a, like a stiffener that goes across. So I'm actually going to remove the seat. Uh, it's only a few rivets. I'm not changing anything. I'm just going to take the rivets off. I'll leave the structure underneath alone. Um, and actually, uh, hmm, I was thinking of using this seat because it's 52 inches from this part to that part for the width. And it just so happens that that old Alumicraft over there could really use a nice, nicer seat um, for the back. And uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I guess it would be nice to, um, to use this as a donor. And then, uh, because as long as I have this boat, uh, I I won't be putting it back with the steering wheel uh, way up front here, so I won't I won't need this seat anyways. It's basically going to be a four or five seater boat uh, or whatever. I'm gonna. This is kind of temporary. I mean, it'll probably be like this for next summer uh, with these two seats, and then I'll get two more matching seats for the back. Um, it is kind of nice. They swivel around because then you can if people are back here and if the motors aren't too loud then um you can kind of talk to each other especially for just you know going slow uh brought my vacuum cleaner from camp um yeah so i'm gonna vacuum this out hopefully maybe later on today i'm not sure i got so many other things to do but um <clears throat> yeah so that's uh so that's it that's the plan um i already have the plywood for for uh making this piece here and then i'm going to cover it with uh 6064 uh aluminum so it'll still look like this uh but the plywood will be hidden in the back so and then that'll be the stiffener um for the steering wheel and everything so it'll be good and solid and um yeah, I think that's the uh, least intrusive 
modification for this boat and then if somebody wants to put it back then it's super easy to put it back turn it the wrong way um yeah so um that's it for for now um i uh, will see i uh, maybe make another video um sometime uh, next week if i can i've uh, decided uh to <clears throat> change this guy here i'm gonna put this at more of a 45 so this will be closer but it's i can always play a tune on that thing it's geometry wise it should be pulling more straight and uh and obviously that's straight right and this is a uh, 45 so it, she's kind of binding up a little bit on the bottom here when it comes onto the trailer but so i'm going to change this and then put it at a 45 and then uh yeah uh, that'll help out a lot for this guy um and uh yeah i gotta clean this up still i got a bunch of stuff down back here that's got to be moved um there's an old johnson there i'm not even sure what year that is 58 maybe somebody can tell me what it is um it actually runs and uh yeah um the only change on this one was uh i just i took the older handle off because these handles are so much more comfortable uh than the older um than the older handles uh geometry wise and everything um and it fit on there perfectly so but uh, i don't know what i'm gonna uh, maybe i'll put that motor on the uh, lumacraft or the starcraft or something I, I don't know um and then of course i have a couple more motors over here and uh, there's a uh i think that's a 60 68 uh 18 and i uh, have no idea what what year that is uh but that was supposed to be for the uh uh, for the boat, the uh, one outside the fiberglass one. Anyways, uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, that's it for now. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.